Hi guys, this is Pebbly Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate WooCommerce to Google Drive. So as you know, WooCommerce is a customizable e-commerce platform and Google Drive is an online file storage system. So basically what I'm going to do is I have a Google Doc called as Hi Dude Welcome inside my Google Drive. So anytime a new purchase is made by a customer in WooCommerce, I want to make sure that this file is made available to him in real time. In your case, it can be a word file, simple picture or a video. But the point is there is no direct integration between WooCommerce to Google Drive. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabbly Connect to integrate WooCommerce to Google Drive. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, we have to visit the website called as Pabbly Connect. So this is the website. Here click on sign in. Okay, when you sign in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. So as you can see, I already have an account in Pabbly Connect. Now bring your attention to the connect part. Here click on access now. Okay, as you can see, in the right corner, you will find a button called as create new workflow. Just click it. Now it is demanding a workflow name. I am going to give it as WooCommerce to Google Drive. WooCommerce to Google Drive. Then click on save. Okay, when you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, we have to change it from webhook to WooCommerce. Then in the choose method, we have to change it from the default new coupon created to new order created. This one, click it. Okay, so the point is whenever there is a new order created in WooCommerce, the system will trigger. Now let's go to our WooCommerce. Here you will find the option called as settings, this one. Click it. Now at the right corner, you will find the option called as advanced. Click it. Now bring your attention to the part called as webhooks. Just click it. Now it is asking you to add a webhook. This button. Click it. Okay, so this is the page called as webhook data. Here we have to assign a name to the webhook. So I am going to give a random name called as uh, ren webhook or something. Then in the status, we have to change it from disabled to active. Now in the topic, we have to change it to order created, this one. Now comes the most important part, the delivery URL. To get the delivery URL, just go to Pabbly Connect and simply copy this. This is the delivery URL we want. Copy this and paste it here. Now the secret will remain empty and the API version will remain same as WP REST API integration v3. Then click on save webhook. Okay, it is showing that a webhook has been created. So basically, it means that we have successfully connected WooCommerce to Pabbly Connect. Now, every time there is an order created in WooCommerce, Pabbly Connect will capture the data. So let's see whether the system is working or not. To do that, let's go to Pabbly Connect and click on Capture Webhook Response. Okay, it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. Now, let's go to WooCommerce and let's buy a dummy product. Click on all products. So these are the series of uh, products that I have made. I'm going to purchase this product as a dummy customer. This is the Apple Watch Series 5. Add to cart. Okay, as you can see, I have already filled in the dummy details of a customer. So the email is lgmanual27 at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Jimmy, Shergill and rest of the details. So let's click on place order. So it is showing that the purchase has been made successfully. So let's see whether in Pabbly Connect have we captured the data or not. Let's go to Pabbly Connect. Okay, it is waiting for a response. Just give one or two seconds. Yes, uh, the data has been captured. It is showing that the data has been captured. So let's see the data. The first name is Jimmy. The last name is Shergill. Uh, this is the address of the customer. Okay, and the email address. Lizimanual27 at the rate gmail.com. So basically our integration with Pabbly Connect is successful. We have successfully integrated WooCommerce to Pabbly Connect and the data has been received. So we have to sync this data to Google Drive. To do that, scroll down and here you will find this plus button. Just click it. When you click on this plus button, you will find another window. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to Google Drive. In the choose method, we have to keep it as share a file. 
because that's what I want to do. I want to basically share my file to my customer. Then click on connect with Google Drive. Now in select your credentials, keep it as new credentials and in the authorized application, just simply click on connect. Okay, so these are the series of uh, accounts I have. I want to connect with this account. Okay, it is asking me to confirm my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, it is showing that the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Okay, so when you click on OK, it is giving me a set of blanks. So in the file ID, it is showing WooCommerce to Google Sheet. But I actually want Hi Dude Welcome. The reason it is showing that Hi uh, file ID as WooCommerce to Google Sheet is because it is one of the files I have in my Google Drive. I want to change it as Hi Dude Welcome, this one. So let's see whether we have this file or not. Hi Dude Welcome, yes. This is the file, hi dude, welcome. Just click it. Now, the email. We already have got the email of the customer. So the customer's email is digimanual27. So just map it. Now we are going to assign a role to the customer. So what is he going to do with the file? I'm just going to keep it as can view. You can of course change it to can edit or can comment. I'm going to just give a view option to it to the customer. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so it is showing that the drive permission has been given. Now let's go and check this person's email address digimanual27 at the gmail.com whether the file is available or not. So let's go and change the file as digimanual27 gmail Okay, so it is got the invitation that uh, hi dude welcome. This is the name of the file and invitation to view the document. So the presence of this data shows that we have successfully connected WooCommerce to Google Drive with help of Pabli Connect. This means anytime a new purchase is made in WooCommerce, Pabli Connect will ensure that customer gets the access to a particular file in your Google Drive. But for your satisfaction, let's check it one more time if the integration is working or not. To do that, let's first go to Pabli Connect. And let's save this. Okay. Minimize this. Save this. Okay. And minimize this. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, we have integrated WooCommerce to Pabli Connect and then Pabli Connect to Google Drive. So in return, WooCommerce is directly integrated to Google Drive. So let's go back to our WooCommerce and let's create one more product to see whether the integration is working fine or not go to products all products this time i'm going to buy this product called as swiss watch click on view add to cart okay so this time the checkout is uh, of edis nashak this is another customer called as edis and his last name is nashak and the email address is edis nashak 265 at the gmail.com so let's see after placing order whether this person called as edis uh, will receive that file called as hi dude welcome this file okay so let's place the order okay so the order has been placed it's successful now let's see the gmail of this edis nashak okay gmail okay so the invitation is available so as you can see this is the account of edis and uh, he has got the access to view this file hi dude welcome so our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards whenever a new purchase is made by a customer in woocommerce he will automatically will be given access to the file in your google drive also you should know not just woocommerce and google drive you can integrate a ton of applications using public connect thanks